Welcome to On Networking. Conversations with thought leaders in networking technologies. Brought to you by Hi, Omar. Welcome. I'm glad you could be with us today. My pleasure. Could you give us a little bit of information about your background? Absolutely. I'm an incident response manager from the PCERT, or Perk Security Incident Response Team at Cisco Systems. Uh, I've been at Cisco for over se uh, seven years now. Uh, prior to that, I was actually part of the security practice. And prior to Cisco, I used to work for the Department of Defense, uh, all dealing with the security. Wonderful. And as I understand it, you are a multi-published Cisco Press author, too. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> So tell us, what books have you written that make you famous for the very, very small group of Cisco people? <laughs> <laughs> I will not say famous, <laughs> but uh, I have written three books. The first uh -huh. book was actually regarding a specific product set from Cisco, the Cisco ESA. Mm. Uh, that is actually a combination of uh, firewall, intrusion detection, and VPN, or uh, virtual private networks uh, technologies, uh -huh. all into one. So in that book, actually, I describe not only the configuration of the deployment, but I also give uh, some case studies. Uh, I co-authored the book with a separate author, uh, Jasip Frahim. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, we're in the middle of the second revision of the book right now. That's great, because I own that book, and so I, oh, I, I found it really helpful. Wonderful. In, in understanding <laughs> ASAs. Wonderful. <laughs> so what else have you written? Uh, also, uh, the second book was related to a technology uh, framework, if you will, called Network Emission Control. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are familiar about the self-defending network within Cisco. Right. <laughs> so basically what we address is to be in the proactive side of security instead of a reactive side. So before uh, the endpoint enter the network, we can have some network intelligence or uh, leverage infrastructure devices that can actually scan, not only scan, but also know the posture, security posture of the device before it enters the network. Enters the network. Mm -hmm. So from that, we can actually go into the proactive uh, side of the house instead of being always reactive. Uh, traditionally, within security, you know, uh, we have preached a lot of firewall, perimeter security, VPN, and things like that. Yeah. So, a lot of areas in, within that and the proactive side, uh, but tend to be also to be in the reactive. Uh, so, the change of configuration, the firewalls, the policies, and so on and so forth. In this case, we actually want to be a little bit further on, even before the endpoints enter the system, or even servers uh, within the system. Uh, are part of the network, we want to actually get information from them. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the main topic of the, the second book. The third book is actually a little bit more abstract as far as or general, not only based on products, if not actually how products, Cisco or non-Cisco, can work together to provide end-to-end -end network security. So from that aspect, uh, I'm not only touching technology per se or a product per se, if not also I'm talking about different frameworks that even from a management perspective, you can look at security. Uh, that's what we call the defense in depth. Mm -hmm. So from risk analysis, threat mitigation, threat analysis, uh, how to build incident response team within the infrastructure, how to rebuild uh, security policies within the infrastructure. Uh, then from there, of course, I cover the six step methodology of incident response uh -huh. uh, from the preparation phase all the way to the uh, uh, post-mortem. Uh -huh. So have a complete framework so not only engineers can follow, but also management uh, mm -hmm. can take some best practices from them. Then followed by that, uh, uh, there's a lot of initiatives within different proactive security frameworks. Uh, so I go in, in line into a, a lot of things like, uh, for example, we have within Cisco, Cisco operational process model, uh, which delineates several technologies and several uh, methodologies, if you will that uh, can take end-to-end -end network security you know, to, a little bit, to what we call the next level. Followed by that, they have uh, different case studies mm -hmm. and different topics like uh, IPv6 security, uh, data center security, yeah. uh, also followed by wireless security and voice security as well. How so. long is that book? That sounds like you cover a lot of topics. <laughs> yes, a lot of research. <laughs> yeah, I bet. A lot yes. of late nights, huh? Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Well, it sounds like with the, the range of topics of your three books, you know, everything from the very specific ASA 
all, you know, then, then to the knack, which covers a lot of different things, and then to the whole more general, you know, make the end-to-end -end security through your whole network, you, you're, the, they would appeal to a wide audience then, too. Yes. Not only from just the network engineer, but all the way up to management. Yes, that, that is the intent. Mm -hmm. uh, security, yeah, as far as the, any other technology, but security in particular, you know, is some, it's a topic that not only is important for engineers or uh, people that deploy the, the products, but also for the people that are actually doing the, the business planning of mm -hmm. the house, side of the house. So security is important for everybody. So that's what I intend to listen to the third book as well to, to address a wider audience from that aspect. Well, what kind of infrastructure protection mechanisms would you recommend? I'm assuming it would, it would be different for small, medium, large businesses. Absolutely. It would be diff different because uh, each, uh, I will say, size of enterprise or size of organization will have uh, different budgets and different you know, uh, infrastructure itself. However, uh, the principles are, are similar, right? Uh, the infrastructure protection, what we call is a leverage infrastructure devices. So the infrastructure itself can give you a protection against, you know, not only from malware or viruses or worms, but also gives you visibility and to react to any security incident within the, the network. So not only from the infrastructure protection of protecting the different planes within routers or switches or infrastructure devices, but also uh, to look into visibility within the network so you can get a complete feedback a mechanism back to the preparation phase. That's what we call it within the six-step methodology of incident response. Uh -huh. So uh, back to the preparation phase so you can tweak your policies, you can tweak uh, all the, the configurations within the devices itself. So I infrastructure protection not only is uh, applying uh, access list into a specific areas of the network, but also understand uh, how devices can be act or can be configured in, in choke points within the network that can allow you to react a little bit better to well, whenever there's an incident with, within the network. For more information, visit onpodcastweekly.com and subscribe to all our podcasts. Brought to you by the publishing imprints and information portal of Pearson Education. Be sure to download next week's episode, part two of this series.